Welcome fifth grade social studies scholars to another Passport to Social Studies video. My name is Mr. Giordano and I'll be your teacher for today's video. Today we will be looking at our unit two day 10 lesson. Our lesson title is the impact of the Columbian exchange. Our focus question for today is what effect did the Columbian exchange have on the lives of people? Our learning objective is to better understand the consequences of the Columbian Exchange. Today, we will be looking at the long-term consequences of the first interactions between the Europeans and the Native Americans, specifically through the Columbian Exchange. When Columbus arrived to the New World, he brought people, a new religion, and without knowing it, many diseases. Columbus also brought things back to Europe, including people, plants, and gold. This exchange back and forth continued long after Columbus. It even continues today. During our lesson today, we will be exploring the Columbian Exchange map from 1492 to 1650 and discussing what the arrows and symbols signify. Finally, we will be reviewing a model for your group project where you and a group of your classmates will research one part of the Columbian Exchange. You and your classmates will create a poster, or chart, map, or infographic that gives details about one aspect of the Columbian Exchange. Before we get started, let's review what we mean by the New World. The New World is the term Europeans used to describe the Western Hemisphere because it was new to them. They had just discovered it. It was a new piece of territory, a new part of the world that they had never explored or even known about. They called Europe Asia and Africa, the Eastern Hemisphere, or the New World. This area had already been discovered and was where many people had already been living and past civilizations had already been uh, started. So on this side, we have the Western Hemisphere with North and South America. And on the right side, we have the Eastern Hemisphere, Europe, Asia, and Africa. Today, you'll be looking at the Columbian Exchange map. As we look deeper at this map, we'll take a look at the plants, animals, and diseases that cross the Atlantic Ocean. You're going to eventually use this map and information that you learn from various videos to think about the items that you will put on your poster in your small group project. On the next two slides, you can take a look at some of the resources that you'll be using for your project. Before we get started on act, the actual project, let's talk deeper about this map. The map is titled the Columbian Exchange Map from 1492 to 1650. This is the title of the map. And this title provides us with the main focus or the topic that the map will be illustrating and describing to us, the viewer. On the bottom, we see something else very important. This is called the key or legend and it lists symbols that might that appear on the map. A key or legend includes symbols and even colors that may represent different things on a map, such as boundaries, roads, rivers, land, or different objects. In this case, the different symbols represent different foods, fruits, flowers, plants, animals, insects, diseases that are being transferred across the different pieces of land in the Columbian Exchange. Also, the colors show the hemisphere of origin. Let's take a deeper look at the colors. We have two different colors on our map, green and pink. The green land, which represents the Western hemisphere, is known as the New World. This arrow that's labeled to Europe, Africa, and Asia illustrates the items being exchanged from the New World over to the old world of Europe, Asia, and Africa. The pink land represents the Eastern hemisphere or the old world. The pink arrow that says to the Americas illustrates the items being exchanged from the old world of Europe, Africa, and Asia over to the new world of the Americas. There are many examples of plants, animals, and diseases that are on this map, but this is not a comprehensive list. 
As you engage further in your research in your small groups today, you will find other examples of plants, animals, and even diseases that were exchanged across this Columbian exchange process. Again, you can take a look and notice many of the items that we see today in North America came from the Europe, Asia, and Africa side of the Columbian exchange. At this time, I encourage you to pause the video and take a deeper look at the various foods, plants, animals, and diseases that were exchanged across the Columbian exchange. Today, for your independent work, you and a group of your classmates will be researching one part of the Columbian exchange. You and your classmates are going to be creating a poster or chart, map, or infographic that gives detail about one aspect of the Columbian exchange. One part of your poster will describe the items that cross the Atlantic Ocean, and the other parts will, be, will explain the consequences of this exchange. You will be in one of four groups, plants, animals, technology, and or culture, and disease. Below are some of the articles and videos that you may use to further research your topic. You may have to search in the articles to find the part that relates specifically to your topic. You will want to take careful notes as you watch and you read. We have our plant resources, our diseases resources, our animal resources, and our technology and culture resources. All of these blue links are hyperlinks that if you click, will take you to the website with more information and even videos for you to watch. Your poster or infographic should follow the model below. You can use whatever shapes or colors you would like for your project. You can even draw or download images for your project. You want to be creative with displaying the information. So we have four corners or four parts of our project. First, the information about the items that went from the old world to the new world, including some pictures and descri describing of these items. The next side is showing the items that went from the new world to the old world, including pictures and description. And then the bottom sections, which will be a perfect paragraph that explains the consequences of the Columbian exchange on the new world. And then on the next side, the same question explaining the consequences of the Columbian exchange on the old world. So as we take a look at our project, we want to remember that the top part of our project is really a list and a description of the items in the Columbian exchange that's specific to your topic, whether it be plants or animals or technology or diseases. And the bottom part is taking a look at an analysis of whether you believe the Columbian exchange was positive or negative from the viewpoint of the research that you conducted, thinking again about your specific group's topic. Now we can take a look at a model of the project. Your project would be more comprehensive and more in depth than this, but this is a quick model of what something may look like, taking a look at the idea of plants. On the left side, we begin speaking about the transfer from the old world to the new world. It says fruits such as oranges were introduced to the new world through the Columbian exchange. Today, Florida is known for its delicious oranges. Then taking a look at the effect or the consequence of this on the new world. The Columbian exchange had a positive effect on the new world. This exchange allowed for the trading of foods and spices from the old world with, with the new world. The indigenous people of the North and South America had never seen these foreign foods before. This transformed the diet and the cuisines of the people in the New World, which provided us with many of the, of the delicious foods and meals that we eat today. On the right side, we're taking a look at some of the items transferred from the New World to the Old World. Here's an example. Potatoes were grown in South America and traded with countries in Europe in exchange for other foods. Ireland became heavily dependent on potatoes and suffered from a potato famine in the 1840s. And then on the bottom, a quick writing about the consequence of this exchange on the old world. The Columbian exchange had a positive effect on the old world. This exchange encouraged Europeans to continue experimenting with their cuisines 
By incorporating in new foods and spices from the new world, many foods became staple crops for the people and they grew to use it in a variety of meals, such as potatoes for the people of Ireland. Okay, everyone, awesome job today. Now your mission is to complete your small group project with your group members focusing on one aspect of the Columbian Exchange. Remember to use this video as support during your group work. Great work today, social studies scholars. See you next time and happy learning.